Hi guys! Welcome back to another tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to do the waffle stitch. And to do this stitch you can use any size yarn and any size hook that goes with that yarn. I'm using worst weight yarn which is 4 ply for the US and 10 ply for Australia and I'm using a 5 millimeter hook which is a size H hook. This stitch is done in multiples of three and what that means is that you will have you just chain in sets of three and each section of the waffle stitch will take three. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So I had 21. I think I did an extra three. So I think I did 24 because you you go down and start your first stitch in the the fifth chain from the hook. So you're going to lose a set of three. So from here I did a chain of 24 and same for this one. So that's about the size of it. I don't have the exact measurements but it's about a hand's length width away. So to begin for row one you want to start in the fifth chain from the hook. So count one, two, three, four, five and in this fifth chain yarn over and do a double crochet. Now you want to do a double crochet in each stitch, each chain. So continue to double crochet down your chain and I'll see you back in a moment. Okay, so for row two, you want to chain three. One, two, three, and turn. Now the second double crochet of the row, you want to do a front post double crochet. So you're going to yarn over and you're going to go in between the space between the first two stitches. So I'm going to go in through that space and then I'm going to come up through the next space pulling up that double crochet. Then you'll yarn over and just pull the yarn through that like you would any stitch. And then just simply double crochet. And that's your first front post double crochet. Now in the next stitch we're going to do a double crochet. And then you're going to be putting two front post double crochets side by side. So you're going to work front post double crochet on the post of the next two stitches. So yarn over and find the next one and do a front post double crochet. Yarn over, find the next post. And do a double crochet. Worked on the post of the double crochet. Now we're going to re be repeating this pattern. We're going to be putting a double crochet in the next stitch and then you're going to be working two front post double crochets onto the next. And that's going to be the repeat for the row. So we just did our two front post double crochets so the next stitch will be a double crochet. Then we're going to work two front post double crochets. So this is our first one. And then a front post double crochet worked on the post of the double crochet. Then again we'll repeat that. We'll do the next stitch a double crochet. And then the next two will be front post double crochet. Hope I'm not too close now. Let me back up just a little bit. Okay, so you can start to see the pattern start to form. So you're going to keep working your double crochet and then your front post double crochets. Okay, we're coming to the end of the row. I just did my two front post double crochets and then on the top of the chain three, I'm going to work. a double crochet and that's going to end my row. That's going to be the end of row two. Okay, for row three we're going to chain three, one, two, and three and turn. Now on the next two stitches, as you can see they're kind of in the back, we're going to be putting a double crochet in each 
just a regular old double crochet. One and two. And now the next one that is actually up. The reason why these are uh, pushed back is because we did a front post double crochet kind of pulling them forward. And the reason why this one is kind of out is because it's just a regular double crochet. So on this row we're going to be putting a front post double crochet worked on our double crochets. So we did our chain three, worked one double crochet in the first two stitches and then in the next going to work a front post double crochet onto that double crochet. The next two stitches are again the front post double crochets from last row. We're going to just put a single double crochet in the next and those. So the next two stitches. And that'll bring us back up to our double crochet again. And we'll work a front post double crochet on that. And then you'll be repeating that for the row. Double crochet, double crochet, front post double crochet. And you'll continue that for the row and then I'll show you how to end it. Okay, when you get to the end of row three, you should have two stitches left over. You'll have one front post double crochet and then the chain three. You're going to work a double crochet in these last two stitches. So into the front post double crochet from last row and then find the top of the chain three and put a double crochet and that will end row three. Now it's just going to be a repeat of row two and row three over and over again. So I'm going to go ahead and go through it with you again. So you'll go ahead and chain three again and turn and then you'll work a front post double crochet onto the second double crochet of the row. So you've got one double crochet then the second double crochet you'll work a front post double crochet onto it. And then the next stitch will be a regular, just want to make sure it's not the same one, the next stitch will be a regular double crochet. And then we're going to be, now we're ready for our repeat which will be, since we just did our double crochet, the next two will be two front post double crochets and then we'll do a double crochet and then two front post double crochets. So it's just the beginning row of row two. I think row three is, yeah, row three won't be such a problem, but row two will become uh, a problem the second time you do it. But I'm going to show you something that will help you in the future. I'm doing my double crochet and my front post double crochets. So two front post double crochets, then a double crochet. And then I can show you something that's going to make it easier for you whenever you're doing this row because it's the kind of like the back of the stitch. So when you do the repeat of row three, it's the front of the stitch. Okay, it should end right where you do your two, or you do your double crochet and then your last two front post double crochet, leaving you with just the chain on the end that you will double crochet in that la on the top of the chain three. Now if you can see, you can see how the front post double crochets are starting to line up. So that'll help you when you first begin row two. You just have to remember you're, you're going to chain three, front post double crochet in that first one, and then it'll be the repeat. Double crochet, two front post double crochet, double crochet, front post. But it's just, just remember when you start your back that you'll need to chain three and do a front post double crochet on the second and then you'll start your repeat. So for chain, for chain, for row three, you're going to chain three, one, two, three, and turn. Now this is going to be your front part of the stitch and you can see the waffle is already starting. So to begin row three, the chain three is going to start, I mean, your chain three is going to count as your first stitch. So you're going to go ahead and start in the second chain, a second uh, double crochet of the row and work your double crochet. And then you'll work a double crochet in the next one too. That's like the, the sink part of the waffle stitch. So your chain three is kind of like your border 
So then you'll do double crochet, double crochet, and then you guessed it, do a front post, double crochet. That's your border of your waffle. So then you'll do double crochet, double crochet, front post, double crochet. And then you'll just repeat this for the whole row. It's pretty easy when you get the hang of it. When you've done a few rows, like up to this point, you can see how it's already starting to form enough where you can just kind of follow what the pattern's telling you. You'll know where you need to put your front post double crochets and on the back to follow the pattern. So just get it going good, the first few, and just continue with the two double crochets and then a front post double crochet. And on the back, you'll be doing one double crochet and two front post double crochets. So you'll be doing the opposite, but it's still in sets of three. Whoops. And then when you come to the end here, it's going to be two double crochets on the end. And that's just the repeat. Then again you're going to repeat row two. You'll always chain three at the end of a row before you turn. And then you'll just keep repeating the row two and three over and over and over again. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and it was helpful for you and you can do this waffle stitch which I've seen lots of times and I never did but wow it's super easy. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please don't forget to click like and comment down below. Let me know what you think of the tutorial. Uh, also, if you're wondering what hook I was using, it's a Furl's wooden hook. And I recommend when you order it, if you're going to order one, to ask for the extended handle. Also, I have a group on Facebook called Crochet for the Masses. Uh, if, you haven't, uh, if you don't have a Facebook group or you're just looking for a place where you can hang out and talk about, you know, ask questions, hang out with other crocheters, share your stuff. That's a great place to do it. A great group of uh, people there. So go ahead and check out the links down below. You can find all the information that you need. Just click on there, ask for permission to, to join the group, and they'll let you in, and that's it. So I really hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.